So curling was a big part of yep. um, the community. Uh, Christmas concerts were an extremely big part of, of CB life too. Um, my mom would play the piano and teach the, the, the choir, the choruses for all the um, Christmas concerts. And she would start in October, oh, we coming so to teach when she voice. Came. And, um, our, our, our teacher, our principal, Mr. John Davidson, um, encouraged us all to take part in as many things as we could. So we all had recitations. We had to memorize yep. the and lines. And there were all lines. plays. There was all, usually a trial of some kind. Every single Christmas we had a yes. big trial yeah. as a play. Um, and my the, mom taught the choir, so we had enjoyed the, the singing. The children that took music lessons would play. They would play. Yep. I remember my brother and I getting up to do a duet at duet. one point. Oh, okay. My brother is a year younger than I am, and he is very social. I was very serious at that point, so I'm trying my darndest to play really well, and he's looking around, smiling at everybody, and he <laughs> got out of tune, and I stood up and said, Damn you, Gord. And my mother was just mortified because, of course, she had mm -hmm. such a big part in organizing the... The concerts. They were a big part of the community, the Christmas concerts, weren't they? And Santa Claus came yeah. and everybody got, got a, a gift and an orange. Oranges and candy. Candy. Yeah. All Another the little curly, mm -hmm. straight candies. Yeah. Another yeah. big part of the community was Sunday school. We had Sunday school mm -hmm. on Wednesdays after school. That's right, and my mom yeah, was the superintendent. Mom was, and she mm -hmm. taught. Taught. Mrs. That. Bell taught. And that's something that I did get. Yep. Um, Pat, you had the, the register from way back at the school, but I did manage to salvage some of the Sunday, Sunday school, school things. They school. were still oh, okay. in that cupboard at the back wow. of the hall, wow. even though it had never, you know, been... In, 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 uh, in recent years, it hadn't been something that happened in CB, but yeah, the, the things were still at the back of the hall there, so... Um, it was one of the highlights of the week. We all it was. looked forward to it. We were yeah. excited about it. Right yeah. after school, we'd go in and have our Sunday school. Our yeah. Sunday school. Yeah. Um, Addie Helen taught as yes, well. Yes, she did. Aunt. And I think Grace Helen Abelson Taylor. taught too at one time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she did. So then um, one of the other really big things that would happen in CB was uh, the community <laughs> association having big dances and parties for um, all the big things that happened in the mm -hmm. year for, for New Year's and, and then sometimes just because somebody got married and had moved to town or it was somebody's important anniversary yeah. or things yeah. like that, we would have these community parties and we all dressed for to Halloween. the nines for those yep. and they also happened in the school because the school had the, the one room classroom on one side and then the hall oh, which was used for all sorts of purposes on the other side, and that's where we held the, the community parties. And um, now I can't remember them from before there was the kitchen edition. It must have been quite a challenge to put a party on when you had nowhere to keep They used all to the do food. the lunch in the schoolroom, but I don't know. Well, they set up tables in the schoolroom. Yeah. Um, they must have made their lunches and brought them. Brought them. Yes. Well, that was, in essence, that was really what happened in later yes. years, too, because yeah. it was usually just sandwiches and pickle plates and things yeah. like that. But we always had live music oh, for absolutely. those parties, mm -hmm. local um, bands. Uh, so Jal Abelseth and his group, which varied through the years, uh, but Barry Spruill from here in Exshaw. Carl Dick. Uh, Carl Dick, who was eventually a teacher in... CB. In the one room school. Yeah, yeah. And, and so they... Who played the drums, Pat? Gordy, Gordy, Gordy Gaskell, Gaskell would come from drums. Calgary. Yeah. His, yeah. He had, um, I don't think he actually uh, grew up in CB, but his dad was, uh, was superintendent for quite a few years ahead of my dad becoming superintendent. And Gord Gaskell worked for the company yes, in Calgary, yeah. in, uh, for Calgary Power then. But he'd come out and play the sax. Yes. Well, um, oh, was Nick Wysocki that played the drums, right? Mm -hmm. Nick Wysocki. Yeah. And he was the Santa Claus Nick Wysocki. For many, many, many years. Many, many years. Yeah. 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 There was a staff house for the single men. And um, 
that was a big part of CB Life too, it was. the staff house, because they had Christmas parties and things. Yes. But uh, for the single men who um, came to work for Calgary Power, they lived in the staff house. And um, did your dad that's where live Nick at the staff Saki. house? Did your dad live at the staff house, Pat? Uh, my dad was married okay. in 1940. See, my dad lived at the staff house. Yeah. Well, he I... may have from 19. He worked, started working in 1937, but I think he worked out of out of Ghost driving from Ghost oh, okay. to CB, to CB. Uh, and back. So I don't think he lived in the staff house. And I was going to your say dad. probably our, your dad and my dad were in the staff house, but in the early days it was actually in one of the cottage duplexes. It wasn't no, the... No, my dad the, was right at the yes. staff house. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, well, eventually my dad was too, yeah. after they built the... The, the new new staff house, but okay. it was in, in uh, oh, one of the cottage right. duplexes that, that originally. Be, yeah. could be right. That's um, true, Marge, because I have a picture I found of wind damage, and my mom had oh. written on the back of the picture, this is the staff house oh, okay. after a really bad wind storm, and it was the it was the cottage duplex right next to the two-story right. duplex. Right, right. See, I didn't know that. Yeah. So, yeah. so there yeah. you go. Because everything you read about CB now, it talks about the apartment house that they had for oh, okay. for the the single staff quarters, it and it, a, they weren't. Room. It was it was yeah. everybody had their own bedroom, yeah. and. There was a sink in the bedroom, but they had to use common bathrooms. bathrooms yeah. And then there was a couple always hired who um, the man would do all the maintenance around the place and the woman would, would cook for all the people, make their lunches for them to take to work and, and that sort of thing. So when well, I remember our, our, the teacher, Jack Davidson, and his wife, Min Davidson, mm -hmm. lived there. And she did the cooking. She and did whatever. the cooking, and he was the, yep. the teacher. And I remember my mom and my aunt Helen. If they went away, they would go and do the cooking at the staff house. Yeah, that's right. My yeah. husband lived there actually for two years before we got married in 1963, because my husband started working for Calgary Power then. When we got married, we um, we moved to Spray. Lived at Spray for many many years, but. Um, he had started his career yeah. in CB as well. Yeah. At the staff house. At I the staff house. Wow. Greg must have been in there for about seven, seven years, I'm thinking, um, before we got married. And uh, yes, there used to be really good parties. Christmas, at, their yeah. Christmas, Christmas party. Christmas party, yes. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Boxing Day, I think it was. Yes. Boxing yeah. Day. Well, party. it was, was it usually that? earlier in December by oh. the time I remember okay. going. But... Um, Yes. So Initially, I think it was the Boxing Day, way, way back. And I yes. remember my dad talking about the fact that in the earlier days, and probably even through us a little bit, that the boys at the staff house were a little bit the reprobate babes. Mischievous. <laughs> and, yes, mm -hmm. and, and, they, and they you were being of careful pranks. of your daughters mm -hmm. around them. And uh, uh, so it was really a big thing when they actually started to do these Christmas parties because it it got the community mixed yep. together a little yep. bit better. And uh, um, there was always liquor served at the community parties, I think, mm -hmm. but it was a little freer and easier at the staff house. I remember Al uh -huh. Alex being locked in the bear trap one time at, it, yes. at a staff yeah. house party. <laughs> They and used to play cause some pranks, didn't they? They yeah, did. Yeah. 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 Stanley was the worst one. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Uh, anyway, so those, those Stanley, parties Stanley, that's who it was. It was not Stanley Alex. in the, in the bear trap. In yes. the bear trap, yeah. yeah. As, as oh. my, my memory of CB is that there was always married couples in the, in the, the houses. houses. Yeah. 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 And, and, uh, and there was always yeah. lots of room in the staff house. And lots of room in the staff yeah. house. Yeah. Yeah. And there was actually um, still... Uh, Two houses down in the Horseshoe area, and then, which would be at least half a mile away, I think, and then the community of CB itself, and then the plants and the um, store. I'm going west now, and then there were three other little right, houses, tiny, yeah. tiny little uh, cement-built houses. Tile um, houses? People tile were, houses, I, I believe. Think that's what they, they did. Them. So there were yep. three others there as well. And I remember George Hope lived in one of those houses. He lived He lived closer to Horseshoe first, but he was, was in one of those little um, cottages. Yeah. And they called that one in, up by Horseshoe Toad Hall. Toad Hall, yes. yeah. yeah. George Hope, yes. Oh, and then yeah. there was 
there was more than three houses up there, Pat. There was the two tile houses, and then Strapazons lived in the house by the by the, by the slough, slough. Mm -hmm. and then there was the house closer to that the... That uh, Mealy's lived in. Yeah. Mealy's lived right the, along the four bay. Yes. That's right. right. Yes. So there yes. were four houses there. were there. four houses. And Mr. Hope did eventually move into one there. of those little But cottages. I remember as a kid, he had uh, dogs, and he'd come from Toad Hall walking through CB with his dogs and his cane, and we'd all run out, and he'd give us lifesavers. Lifesavers, yeah. Yes. Which were unwrapped in his coat <laughs> pocket. And we thought this was <laughs> Right. And he smoked a pipe, yep. so there was always tobacco in with the lifesavers. Life <laughs> it was a treat. Yep. Yeah, it was a real treat. It was like the Pied Piper. You'd see him coming, and all the kids yes. would go yeah. like Russia. the ice cream trucks. Now. <laughs> right. Yeah. Toad Hall was um, noted for its dirt floors. It was dirt floors, and, yeah. and not really solid walls. Solid. No. The walls outside were solid, but not. Um, not waterproof or rainproof or snowproof. Um, I think my aunt and uncle, Aunt B and Uncle Ted, lived there for a while when they first came to In Toad Hall? I think they did, ah. yep. So why Toad? I don't know why it was Well, it was Toad halfway Hall. between Horseshoe and Seabee, um, right on the bank. So of the boat the river. I, I, well, know where that I think came it from. came from Wind on the Willows. Wind in the Willows, the Could story, be. because oh, there was a toad okay. hall in there, and how that translated to what to this know. building, I don't know, but I think that's probably think where it came from, was right. from the Wind in the Willows. But we always know, knew it as toad yeah. hall. Toad hall. Yep. And I remember in later years, that other house that you were saying maybe the Mealy's lived in, I don't it remember was, that. It was but is that the one that... that uh, um, Esther and Audley Richards lived in eventually? No, Esther and Audley lived, lived down, down, at, down Horseshoe. at Horseshoe. Oh, right at in, Horseshoe. Okay. Right at Horseshoe. Yes. There were yeah. two houses yeah. there. No, I realized that. I was thinking that that's what we were and talking about because I don't lived remember in that. some of the other When, ones. when Mom and Dad got married in 1940, they moved into the bigger house down there at Horseshoe, um, which was right along the banks of the Bow, of the Bow River above the Horseshoe Dam. And... Um, I was born in 1942 and lived down there in, in that area until I was about four, I believe. So and North then Mom and Dad moved up into CB. Northcott lived in that other house. Northcott lived too. in the one that Audley and Esther yes. Richards yes. had but by the time later lived in. Audley yeah. and Esther moved in there, there had been a really bad windstorm that had damaged the upper floor of the house so badly that it was, it was gone. They never rebuilt it. They just put the roof and everything over over to what was left. Yeah. It was a funny yeah. little house. Wasn't yeah. it? I think I was married yeah. and living at Spray by then. I'd forgotten that. Yeah. Yeah. We and and um, uh, then it was the Torrens that lived in the bigger house the down bigger there house for, for, the for all the years. Yeah. I, I yeah. really remember. That's right. Yeah. The Samantha House, we called it. Yeah.